Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I thought I would share with you some of the fun festivals that I attended in the last um, month of summer. We had a lot of local festivals in um, August that we attended and were so, so enjoyable. The first one that we attended was the Bigfoot Festival. It was the first year for this particular Bigfoot Festival. It was located out in Troutdale, Oregon at a park called Glen Auto Park. And it was really a great, um, fun little festival. And it was really fun to attend. They had a lot of neat vendors and things. We picked up some absolutely delicious Bigfoot um, sauces from a local company. I'll go ahead and include a picture um, of that in the little slideshow that I'll share with you in just a minute. Um, so we picked up some Bigfoot ketchup and hot sauce and barbecue sauce. It was absolutely wonderful as well as um, just checking out some of the local vendors and food and things and it was just a great little festival. So I thought that I would start this video by sharing a little bit about the Bigfoot Festival. So here's a short slideshow of the Bigfoot Festival we attended in August. there were also more festivals to attend. One festival that I've been meaning to attend for years over in a town very close to me called Canby, Oregon. Um, they have a beautiful Dahlia festival every year and I absolutely love flower festivals. I think they're so fun. Earlier in the year you might remember um, when I attended the Lavender Festival which was so fun and I cannot wait to go back next year. I've been to Tulip Festivals. I wasn't able to attend the Tulip Festival this year so I was so happy that I was able to attend the Dahlia Festival. The flowers were beautiful. They had some delicious food there. I don't um, really do well eating food in the hot summer sun, so I didn't really eat any of the food there, but I did enjoy a delicious um, cold, freshly made lemonade, which is one of my favorite things to enjoy at festivals. So now I'll go ahead and share with you some of the beautiful pictures of all the beautiful dahlias that we saw when we were at the Dahlia Festival.
lastly, the last festival that we attended was on the same day as the Dahlia Festival. We noticed that the local fairgrounds were hosting a rock and mineral and jewelry show, so I thought it would be really fun to go over and check out some of the rocks there and just the different um, rocks and minerals on display. It's always so neat to look at all the different larger pieces uh, that one day perhaps I can add to my collection. I've been collecting rocks and minerals since I was a child. I just think they're so fun to collect. Um, there's another big rock and mineral show coming up next month that I definitely plan to attend. Um, it'll be really fun to see that one. It's a little bit bigger, so I'm excited to see that one as well. This one was pretty nicely sized. It, I wasn't able to stay for too long because we were having so many of our wildfires around that the air was just very, very smoky. A lot of the festival was outside, so it was really difficult to um, tolerate the smoky air conditions as well as the heat. But I did find some fun little treasures to bring home, so I thought I would share those with you. I got this really pretty selenite tower. It was very inexpensive and I just thought that this would look neat sitting out in some of my home decor. I like the way that it picks up the light and I thought that the design was really fun. So that was just a fun little treasure to bring home. And then also I spotted this at one of the vendors. It was just so pretty. This is a quartz crystal that's been treated with chemicals to make it look, you know, pretty like this. It's, um, just sort of neat and it looks a little fantastical and I really like the way that these shine. I often keep these in my desk area um, near my computer just because I think they're so pretty to look at. And this is another one. Um, this is a man-made uh, mineral or gem, whatever you'd like to call it. It is opalite. So it is, it's like a glass created with different, you know, materials to make this sort of opalescent effect. And it was sitting out in the sunshine and the way it was just picking up the light, I just kept looking at it from across the, uh, um, across all the different vendors. I kept spotting this one sitting there. And so at the very end of the show, I said, yeah, I really want to bring that home. It's just so pretty. And so it was picking up the light so nicely that this looked really pretty sitting in a windowsill, picking up light. It's a really, really soft material. The way that they um, make the opalite makes it a very soft material. So it's fun to kind of hold and you can see here you can see like down here how it reflects the light like that. There's a lot of uh, different light that it just reflects in such a pretty way. So I thought that this would be a really fun piece to add to my um, rock collection. And then also I thought that I would bring home a grab bag. I always think that these are so fun. It's just a mystery to see what's inside. I was kind of saving the majority of my money for the bigger rock show coming up so I didn't want to purchase too many but I thought that this was a really fun um, little collection here. You can see just a bunch of really fun pretty rocks. I thought that was really pretty. I have been collecting little bags of rocks like I said since I was a child and I have quite a fun collection. They're really fun to just sit around and check out all the different um, types of rocks. Here's a couple that are just the brightly colored fun rocks like you get in those little bins that you pick out rocks. This one was really neat. It looks like a little fossilized seashell which I thought was really fun. This looks like a piece of thunder egg or something like that. I thought that was a neat little treasure to find in there. And then a few other little pieces here. Also a little snowflake obsidian and just some other little rocks. And this little pink colored rock here that I thought was so pretty. And then the last rock I picked up, a lot of the vendors were selling this. This looks like just a little plain black rock and I doubt I'll be able to the, the camera will be able to pick this up. Maybe if I get it under here, under the light a bit more, you can kind of see that it is translucent. This is an Apache tear rock that you can kind of see through. Has a really neat legend associated with it. And um, this was one of the first rocks that I ever added to my collection when I was a child. So I've always had a special place in my heart for these little Apache tear um, rocks. And I think it's really neat that they're translucent. So I thought that that was really, really fun to attend. Um, the rock show had a lot of fun meeting um, all the different vendors. They were really, really friendly and they had some beautiful rock and mineral specimens. So that was my fun day at the uh, rock and mineral show. And I will go ahead and share a few clips of some of the beautiful rocks and minerals that I saw at the rock and mineral show.
over some of the fun festivals that we attended in the last half of summer. I absolutely love attending festivals and little shows and things like that. They're just so fun. There's so many coming up soon here in the next month. We've got all of our different harvest festivals. I'm definitely hoping to be able to attend a couple of different um, fall festivals and pumpkin patches and corn mazes and all the fun things that I absolutely love to do in the fall. So I just thought I would share with you some of those fun summer festivals that we attended as we um, draw near to the end of summer and the beginning of fall. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my slideshows of all the little um, festivals that I attended. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.